Hello everyone, I'm Garrett Mintbayar and I'm enrolled in the UNICEF Initiative Teen Parliament 2021 project. My name is Mungunzul and I'm 16 years old. I grew up in the smallest province of Mongolia. Mongolia has extreme climate with minus 40 degrees in the winter and 40 degrees in the summer. A lot of children get sick because of air pollution that we burn coal to hit our homes. Young people and children especially are the most vulnerable when it comes to impacts made by climate change. And we're often asked as if to solve the climate crisis in Mongolia all on our own. But there are things that we can't do. We can't sign legislatures or we can't pledge to the international community. We can't devise national uh, climate change projects. Herders feel more climate change when their animals don't have enough to eat and can't survive cold winter. This is called Zot and it only happens here. If we can tell more people about what is happening around us, I believe that more children will fight for a change and this is why I became a climate activist. And that is why decision makers need to involve children and youth in the center of their decision making. One great example of this has been during the National Conference of the Teen Parliament 2021 project, where children from all corners of Mongolia gathered here at the Ulaanbaatar city to discuss issues involving climate change. Last year, I met many climate activists and it was nice to see that I wasn't alone. And we devised our own plan of action. We devised our own document and presented it to the parliament of Mongolia. This best practice example has gone on to the Climate Change and Youth International Conference where we presented our call for action document to the Ministry of Environment and Tourism in Mongolia. Now I feel hopeful to see this many children are already raising their voices and taking actions against climate change. And now I'm grateful that a representative of Mongolia who comes from the tiniest province in Mongolia is able to present her ideas, is able to talk at the international podium where world leaders will be listening to her about the climate issues facing Mongolia and present her solutions.